Um, what you're going to see here is you're going to see that if we look at the color, the color of this circle is actually filled with white and then it has a stroke of black. To change this color, there's two ways I can do this. I'm going to show you the um, faster way by using the quick step over here, which is double clicking on the color, finding the color you'd like to use, and for mine, I want to use a, a purple. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK, and now you can see that I have this um, purple uh, circle with a black stroke around it. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually um, get rid of that stroke altogether. I don't need it and I click on that, um, the stroke piece here, and then I can go ahead and go to my swatches and click the X in it. That means there's no stroke. The next step that I'd like to do is having the circle selected is I want to give it a bit of definition. I'm going to give it some waviness to the outside and an easy way to do that is to go to your effects tool and go all the way to distort and transform and we're going to go ahead and use the zigzag um, tool. Now with the zigzag tools it'll bring up the zigzag window and what I like to do just to make sure that I know what it looks like is I always click on this preview key. That way it gives me an idea of what this would look like and as you can see when I turn on the preview key the defaults that come in automatically give me this kind of star shape. But what I really want to do is I want to make it smoother and I want the ridges to be a little bit more ridges but I don't want them to look so much like a sun. And you can see when I move these toggles they go back and forth to give me the look that I'm looking for. And right there is what I'm looking for for the back of my badge. In the next piece, we're going to move on with our badge and we're going to add in some detail into our circle.